Yeah, hi, hello everyone. This is Shanmugaraj. Welcome to my channel. One of the aims of this channel is to create a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of agile project management and leadership. You can help me with that either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos with your friends and colleagues so that it reaches many people right so having said that let us get into today's topic we are discussing the topics from safe 6.0 we started discussing how to go about working successfully in agile when you have remote team members and we also discussed about four options to improve the effectiveness of working the first one was accommodating the time zone differences so that is what we're going to discuss in today's video let us get into today's topic accommodating time zone differences when considering the impact of working remotely we often focus on geographic distribution experience however tells us that managing multiple time zones presents a more significant challenge the negative impact that time zones can have on team dynamics should not be understated the first four steps on the journey to high performance described in the tuck fan model right that has been presented in the picture here continue for as long as it takes the team to get to know each other and understand how to work well together so building on each other's strengths so working across multiple time zones can reduce the amount of face time available for the team and consequently the stages of forming storming and norming and performing need more time right let us take some of the options like if the individual is working alone remotely right in some teams an individual may work alone in a specific time zone this will mean that there will be periods each day when individuals work in complete isolation from rest of the team and potentially from most of the organization working alone for a long periods can assist mental flow and reduce multiplexing but still it also affects the individual's ability to integrate with the team and reduces opportunities for collaboration so this situation should be avoided and at least to be reduced as far as possible one recommendation to see whether the team can adjust their working hours to increase the overlap times and opportunities for collaboration these working hours could be periodically shifted to ensure no location experience a tricky work life balance for an extended period of time right what is a safe tip if one team member is working alone in time zone find out whether there are members from other teams in the same uh, same time zone look at opportunities to restructure or create a community practice to bring more people together in that time zone right so you can either you know have the team to adjust the working hours to increase the overlap times right or you can find some opportunities to create and restructure a community practice right so a couple of options in front of you when some individuals alone working remotely and most of the people are you know have a good overlap right so you can look at some of the options like this so second challenge when you try to accommodate time zones could be you know blocked work the second challenge is that there may be substantial times of the day when a smaller number of team members will be working without access to key stakeholders and often including the product owner and scrum master on their team so this creates the possibility 
that they may become blocked in their work. One approach is team sync to check whether remote team members can effectively access all the information and resources they need to work the following day. If this is not the case, Scrum Master or Team Coach can help them resolve this, creating dedicated planned interaction time of agile teams is something that we have heard success with here at you know a scaled agile since a significant portion of our workforce is remote so time is allocated on the calendar for each iteration for team things topics are backlogged ahead of the meeting allowing the team member to resolve any issues or get feedback on the work in progress so when you have a block day to have a good approach would be you know have a team sync effectively have the communication and information resources are you know reaching that person you know uh, very early so that team can have enough time to have a clarifications and everything right so what is the other a safe tip is the time zones of the product owner and scrum master are essential and a relatively central time zone will serve them both well the product owner will benefit from crossover time with a wider product management community. The Scrum Master or Team Coach will need significant crossover time, as many other teams as possible. So try to create a, as much crossover time for both product owner and Scrum Master because these people are uh, pivotal uh, roles of an agile team members. Another challenge with multiple time zones is that individuals who start their day earlier than others will often continue working well past the end of their day as they strive to spend as much time with the team and avoid missing out of any critical information. Right? So although an excellent demonstration of commitment, but this is not a sustainable one for a longer term. So eventually people will start to burn out and ultimately the quality of the product along with their health and well-being will suffer. A similar burden will occur in the reverse for team members who are compelled to start their day in the middle of the night and work through the you know, end of the workday in a later time zone. Right? So it is essential for the team to explicitly state, agree to and respect the working hours of each team member. Any key team events such as iteration events should be scheduled at a time of the day that does not fall outside these core working hours or at very least the timing should be alternated. Hence, no team member is continually disadvantaged. So safe, safe tip could be, you know, create a core working day window for a cross time zone events. So those will be prioritized in that window over all other work requirements, meetings, right, standing in a dock and other activities that do not require cross time zone participants should move outside the core window to ensure maximum open slots, right? If required, you know, if you have a budget, even you can ask team members to travel for critical events and have a face to face no, to entirely avoid this remoteness for critical events, right? That also a good option. Otherwise, you know, to avoid extended hours, we can have, you know, create a core workday window for, you know, cross time zone events. Yeah, so with that, we come to the conclusion of this particular video. Hope you guys got a fair idea. What are the challenges we can encounter when we try to accommodate different time zones where teams work remotely? Like you might have a blocked work, you might have, you know, people might have extended hours and some specific individuals may be, you know, untouched because of their remoteness. And we also discussed about some of the tips, how to overcome, you know, some of them like, you know, having a central time zone for product owner and you know uh, scrum master to have a better overlap or find an effective tools 
collaborations right so hope you got some good idea about you know how do we effectively work out different time zones of remote teams right so with that i'm signing off see you in next video take care bye bye